this is a controversial one, yeah. okay? Do you think that doctors and people high up in healthcare in America, do you think they know the cure for cancer and they're hiding it for monetary reasons? That's a, that's a controversial one. What's your take on that? It's a conspiracy that I, it's very interesting. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I don't know. My answer yeah. to that is I don't think physician i think they stick to their hippocratic oath which yes. is do no harm because they could have a family member with cancer of course it's, well, i know, don't yeah. think it's about oh we know the secret we're not ki- i don't think yeah. i don't think the world works yeah. like that it, it's uh, you would you would almost like you would almost believe it because again with the keeping people fat and sick it would kind of go hand in hand with that yes. but it probably it's probably a little bit too far in the conspiracy theory ladder but yeah, yeah but no, what do you think of it like? i think there's a whole there's another thing that we have to think about the systemic issue here where we're, we're producing doctors who have got these workloads who are based on they're getting their education from a system that was built 50 years ago. Yeah. Okay, that's the first thing. So they're going out. They don't have time there. You've got it. When you go and see a doctor, they've got to see around, I don't know, maybe a hundred, 150 patients in a day. They don't have time to understand the nuances of science and medicine. That's yeah. the first thing is they also you got to think of them as salespeople. They also get money based on the amount of prescriptions that they give you. I watched a movie on that recently. Oh, what was it? Oh, it, it was like, it was about like, you know, pharmaceutical sales rep. Yes. I'll put it up on the screen. I need yeah. to remember it. But it was all about, they would do these seminars. Yes, I and, watched it too. And, yeah, and they would, they've got like, it's like a, a really well-known female actor as yes. a star in it. And uh, they would do like these seminars and everything. And it's just like selling yeah. people on, on stuff. Yeah, selling sickness, really. Yeah. And so that's where that lies. And what happens is it is a hamster wheel because once you get sick, then that is just opening the doors of everything. What we're not, what we're not focused on the healthcare industry is a band-aid method industry instead of a prevention industry. So we can prevent the onset of many diseases through lifestyle interventions, Yeah. right? What we eat, the quality of the food we eat, the quality of our sleep, and the quality of our exercise, and the quality of our relationships. So if you are, you don't want to be at the mercy of these people. So what does that mean? It means that you need to be able to access the free market. That is through podcasts. Don't yeah. be getting your information from the news yeah. since we know that they're just fed by you know johnson and johnson have you ever seen that clip and it's like every they overlay different news channels and presenters of each other and they're all just reading from a script it's no. it's, it's crazy it's nuts they're all just saying the exact same thing like they're yeah. just given what to say and whatever it's all yeah. just it's just programming programming yeah. exactly and it becomes scary not just that you look if you look at a scientific say and that's another thing with instagram right you follow people and people are now saying oh one study said this it's like do you even know clinical epidemiology like you you know to understand a study is you have to understand it so at the bottom of it always goes on he always calls people about cherry picking and everything yeah because it is because you don't know if kellogg's okay or fruit loop companies whatever uh, the kellogg's company is is funding the study so you have to look who was a study funded by like even that documentary that came out um it was like a twin study it's like i think that was even like yeah like well. the the game changers vegan yeah. documentary that was just like funded by like beyond burger or, or something like that so you yeah. always got to look at who's funding study and there's also an interesting one that you yeah, the whole concept of having a cereal at breakfast like where, where why did it why did we choose cereal? Because we want like, to increase type 2 diabetes exa- in kids. And so it's actually a study. The f- this whole study was funded by Kellogg's bag in the 50s. And it's like, you know, why do we just start eating cereal? Why can't it be like meat in the morning? Yeah. You know, why can't it be like eggs in the morning or like fast yeah. in the and morning? Why did, why did we just come up with having cereal in the morning? You yeah, know? and it's so foreign <laughs> to me. Zero protein, yeah. highly palatable. It's it like is so worst. foreign to me. If I hear anyone eating cereal, it's like very foreign to me. I don't yeah. know anyone that doesn't, but evidently there are populations that are still doing <laughs> yeah. that. So it's, and you know, and then there's good foods that are being demonized, yeah. right? Like demonizing, like the vegans are demonizing the red meat, the, the yeah. carnivores are demonizing the plants. Yeah. It's like, what is going on? Yeah, exactly. I think there's like, if you just listen to the right people and you listen to people that aren't speaking in extremities. Yeah. So like, it's kind of like, here's the far left of vegans. Here's the far right carnivores. Yeah. The answer is somewhere in the middle. Literally. Yeah. 